Hey, what's going on guys? The Langbanger. I have a new profile for you and it's my updated Kaiju deck. So uh, the main goal of this deck, um, I mean it has tons of control which you will see here shortly, but you actually want to give your opponent Kaijus and then you either want to bounce the Kaijus back to your hand or you want to take control of them and I'll show you how you can do that. So basically um, this deck's just all control and you can just do big amounts of damage just out of nowhere and this is actually a very hard deck to play against i mean honestly i mean no one's really gonna have a side for you and even if they do side like for maybe your uh heavy back rows then they still got to deal with the kaijus and the other plays that you can do so it can just do a whole lot of things so um i am fully convinced like if i just keep working on this deck i think like i could at least get my invite with it but um you know We'll see, I guess, somewhere down the road. So uh, it's kind of hard to explain, um, but, and it will look very weird. Um, so starting off here, you're using seven different kaijus, one of each one. So um, honestly, like, I just don't want to draw multiples of any of them. Um, and, and then additionally, I kind of did want to go with the higher guys a little more, the 3300s, because really I have ways to deflect damage back to my opponent. And if I'm going to be taking a Kaiju back, then why not just a bigger one? But um, yeah, that's pretty much it there. And then like, no sense, like if you have like two Kaijus in your hand, like you really don't want two with the same attack. So, I mean, this is the only way it's going to happen here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it there. Uh, nothing too crazy. And then you have three Fairy Tail Luna. So on summon, it's a Stratos for itself, but then you can target this card and another monster um, on the field, and then you can bounce both to the hand, essentially. Um, so one way your opponent can negate it is to be able to send a copy of that monster that they control um, to the graveyard, either from the main deck or the extra deck. So, um, that's also where it can be like a little helpful because like if you're playing against like dinosaurs, they'd probably have the dogger in and like so on and so forth. Like depending on what you play against, they may have that Kaiju. So it's also nice to just have that utility there as well, but it's just really cool that you can just summon, uh, grab another copy and then you can bounce the Kaiju and then you can drop the Kaiju again if you need to. So that's just a uh, neat little plays there. Um, Onto the spells, uh, that's actually all the monsters, so that's 10, I believe. Uh, you have three scapegoat, so um, on top of this card just being a really good uh, wall, um, I typically don't use it for that. I usually just end phase scapegoat, and then you can just go into something ridiculous right there. I mean, you can go into a link four just right off the bat, so uh, Saruja, uh, uh, Vendra, or uh, Skulldred, um, so... I mean, it's just a really good card. Um, and, like, honestly, like, one of my favorite plays is actually to go into Double Mrs. Radiant um, because they both bump each other. Like, that's really big damage just for, you know, nothing. So what is that? Uh, 24, uh, 4,800 damage just off his of scapegoat. So that's crazy stuff. Um, the reason that I actually built this, um, you have three owner seal let me get an english copy so return control of all monsters on the field to their original owners so you give them a kaiju and then you can just take the kaiju right back so that alone's crazy so if they end up with just one monster and then um you know pass whatever it's a big boss monster you tribute it off you take it back and then you can just swing direct like it's just crazy fast damage um and just in general, the kaijus are just nice to get a threat off the board, and then you take the kaiju back, you know, kill another monster, do whatever you gotta do. Uh, there's Dark Hole, there's Reborn, there's Slumber, and then Raigeki. So, um, you're just gonna see there's a bunch of just power cards in here, and it just helps you control, 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 until you're ready to go for game. So, that's actually all the spells. So, onto the traps. You have to remove brainwashing. So I don't have an English copy, but it's basically the same thing as owner sale. It's a continuous trap. However, if this is on the board and then later on, if your opponent wants to MST it or whatever, you still keep the monster because it doesn't say while it's face up. So um, I'm just using two copies. You can use three, but I think five copies total to take a Kaiju back is, uh, you know, pretty fair. So um, and now I got a lot of protection. You have three Mirror Force, three Drowning Mirror Force, 
and three blazing mirror force. So as you can see, I'm just controlling a ton until I'm ready to go for game or until my opponent does something that allows me to game shot him. Um, blazing is just crazy. Um, just know that you take the damage first, then your opponent. Um, so that's very valuable. So you definitely want to make sure that you're higher in life and you want to make sure that the blazing wouldn't kill you. So, but other than that, it's just a really, uh, crazy, uh, card. And then just Mirror Force and Drowning, just really good control. Um, not much else to say there. Um, you also have three Torrential. Um, so as I said, tons of control. Um, and then you have six, uh burn cards i guess uh so or six more burn cards so you have three cylinder and three d wall so as you can see give them a kaiju and you know you can even just let them attack because that's just crazy damage so at a minimum it's 2200 damage off the smallest kaiju and 3300 damage off the biggest kaiju and um you know you can just let them attack with stuff you can uh blazing you know you can owners seal take the monster back so it's just a really fun strategy i just gotta find um you know some final tweaks to do like here and there i mean honestly i think it comes down to like the side deck um and then hopefully it should be good to go so uh let me know what you guys think of the deck down below and uh i'll talk to you later peace